let me tell you how batteries work. When you have a neutral atom, it has exactly as many electrons as protons. Suppose I take away an electron. N now I have a negative charge where I have the electron because all electrons are negatively charged. And then left over, the atom now has a positive charge. It's got one more proton than electrons in orbit around it. And as you know, opposite charges attract. If you separate those charges, they want to come back together. How badly do they want to do this? You're talking about electromagnetic forces, which are huge, way stronger than gravity. Like, yes. by, by, by 40 orders of magnitude stronger than gravity. Electromagnetic that, forces actually kick sand in the face of gravity as a force. Yes. So I have this, this atom here. You pump energy into the system, drag all the electrons away from all the atoms, and store them over in this other side. And you got you to gotta pre prevent them from spontaneously coming back. So you got to put barriers in there and stuff. Now, if you want the electrons to come back, you set up a wire connecting one end to the other, and the electrons can flow, flow and get to freely. the other side. Right. But generally, you'll put some load in there, a light bulb, a computer, right. a car. You're going to put something in there to convert the chemical energy to electrical energy, and that electrical energy is at your disposal to turn into kinetic energy to move a car to the needs of your computer to run circuits. Batteries can then do anything you need.